We have spent so long without walls, even. It's giving me encouragement and like new life to see the rest of the house finished. Spring has arrived on our little mountain and we're still trying to finish the inside of our pole barn house. This week, we are working on putting some fake beams inside of our master bedroom. All right, so just got back from a very expensive run to uh, Home Depot. I've got this kind of sample trim piece. We're gonna do a faux beam around the upper perimeter of the master bedroom. So I got this nailed together. We kind of saw what it looked like and we, we like this look. And so now we're going to take various different stains. We've got a whole bag of stains here. And we're gonna try out the different stains that we have and try to find something that matches without destroying everything. And try to find something that matches what we already have going on with our bed. Our bed frame is a natural wood look and we want to match it as perfectly as possible. So I've got seven different stains and we're gonna try them on here and see if we can find the perfect match. Cover your wings and shuffle your body in circles Downtown the sweet serenade Call out the cardinal All right guys, so we got all the samples done. We're going to let those dry and then take them inside and compare. Hopefully we find one that's close to what the bed has on it. I don't know. They all look very different, so we'll see what happens when they dry. The trembled whistle that calls a messenger around the fields of thistle overflowing on the ground. Quiet rustle, the dry leaf crackle along the grass, and from the bustle, it's heard the cracking of the glass. All right guys, so we are just about finished with these faux beams. They look freaking fantastic. The lighting looks really good now that we got that sorted out. The only thing left to do for the beams themselves is to actually put a end cap up here and try to make that look like one continuous beam piece. So far it's looked good, so I think I can make that work out. And then we need to take some pine. I got a pine board here from the Home Depot. And uh, we need to rip that and we're going to put uh, some trim here on the corner. This is right where you walk into the master bedroom throughout through that door. That'll be a barn door soon. Uh, but we need to get this trimmed out here since obviously it's not trimmed now. With each new piece of trim, we're getting closer and closer. <laughs> All 
All right, so instead of attaching one piece at a time inside, I think I'm gonna do what I did with the faux beams. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put these together and glue them and clamp them and nail them and paint it and then we'll take it inside and hopefully it works out. Hopefully it's straight and it sits right on that corner just fine. So many times I've stranded A castaway and I'm now sure All right, and just like that, our bedroom is now trimmed out. It's kind of been a while <laughs> since we had a fully trimmed bedroom. It's been so long since we had walls, like finished walls. Yeah. We had nothing, and then we had spray foam, and then we had bat insulation, and now we have walls and trim. A ceiling. It's a miracle! So, uh, better or worse than you thought it would be? Better, yeah. I mean, I knew it would be nice to have walls, but like this beam is really fancy and really nice. And then all of the white has just a really calm vibe. I really like it. I did okay. It's peaceful. You did amazing. I totally ripped off Aaron and Josh at Wild Wonderful Off Grid. A lot of you that watch this channel probably watch theirs, but they have a beautiful A-frame in West Virginia and they did faux beams inside just kind of connecting all the seams and, and all the joints and everything, especially in their great room. It looks gorgeous. So I just took that, we put that pine together, we stained it. It looks amazing. I love it so much. So... It's giving me encouragement and like new life to see the rest of the house finished. Seeing, seeing something look this nice. Yes. <laughs> I've been trying to like finish an actual room here so that we can see what it's going to look like. And admittedly behind the camera over here, not finished. Not finished. Because, good reason for that, we're going to be putting in a wardrobe. We're going to build a built in, built in wardrobe. Closet wardrobe situation. And it's going to be epic. But we have other things that we want to get taken care of before we kind of wrap up the house and call it finished. And that'll be towards the end. So I'm actually just going to stick some Luan boards up there and we'll call that finished. Uh, for now. For now. Yeah. And we'll come back to the, the wardrobe later. But for now, the bedroom's done. Windows are trimmed. You guys can see we've got the workstation over here. There's my drone, editing station, our mini split over there. Got I mean, the look, bed. How, look how beautiful this trim turned out. I don't know if you got a close up of it. And he special built a shelf that's just wide enough for my humidifier because I'm a voice actor and I always need a humidifier at night. And he made it wide enough so I can keep that there and keep the really fancy curtains. I mean, we have, we have blinds. Who are we? Yeah, I'm really excited. These <laughs> blinds are really fun. They do black out really well. And we're going to be putting them in the whole great room with all those one windows out there. So that's going to look really freaking awesome. But wait, there's more. Ta-da! Here, let me turn down the main lights so you can actually see. 
In beam lighting, baby. So we got those lights recessed around and they change color. So that's blue. This is like an orangey. And it actually has way more colors on the app. Kind of more in between colors here. We tried several different lights from different places that's the and one. these look the best and they're not crazy expensive. So we'll leave a link below if you guys want to see which ones we used. Um, we but, did test try yes, several. several. So uh, yeah, they look awesome. And uh, now we are on to finishing the master bathroom. We were talking with the tile guy this week. As much as I would love to take on a new skill and learn how to tile an entire shower, walk-in shower, I know that I can have somebody else who's done it forever do it much faster. I'm so proud of you. Look at you outsourcing. <sighs> Yeah, kind of hurts my DIY soul. No, no, bit. no, it's wise. Here, it's, let's turn the lights back on. It's uh, a smart thing to do. Yes. So we're getting into the master bathroom, and that's it. After that, we can we can call the house finished. We'll still have little bits of trim here and there, the windows to trim. A, a lot of trim. Okay, lots of trim. But uh, yeah, progress. We are that much closer to finishing our pole barn house. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We will see you next week as we start the master bathroom. See you next time.